What's new crew? If you're new, my name's Cassandra. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do some freezer grocery shopping. I have my basket here. We're starting out in the garage. This is our largest freezer. This is our six foot freezer. We have the biggest snowstorm coming in that we've had all winter long. It is actually supposed to be a snowstorm that lasts like four days or so. The school already sent out a preventative email to all parents saying hey be prepared for snow days and delays and two hour late starts and early releases and all the things while preparing for the snowstorm it's supposed to hit tomorrow night and just between tomorrow night into the next day we're supposed to get 11 inches in my area and that is just the first snowfall not counting anything else that's going to happen after that so we are going to be doing some freezer shopping i wanted to do this anyway to pull out meat to stay on top of uh the pantry freezer challenge pulling out some cuts of meat and whatnot and it was getting time to just do a little bit of a restock anyways so we're starting here i want to show you guys kind of what i'm working with here so this is where i put the bread and the yogurt tubes from grocery shopping i'm going to grab one more of these yogurt tubes we have a couple of these left these are the kids favorite snacks specifically my one-year-old she absolutely loves these so we're gonna bring one of those inside and that will help us with snacks and stuff if the, if the kids are going to be home they're gonna want these and I put these in the girls my school-aged girls lunches every single day they love these so we're going to need that heading into here this is mostly fish um, some breakfast sausage and some bacon more breakfast sausage some italian sausage so i'm actually gonna grab a breakfast sausage because if the girls are going to be home maybe i'll make like an egg bake or something so i'm gonna pull one of these breakfast sausages we're gonna take that my husband also might be home over the next couple of days if you're new here my husband works through a contracted trade company so he travels all over the district and we actually live in the largest district in which his company kind of like owns and works for so my husband can travel up to like three or four hours one way <laughs> which he has done and right now he's actually driving like 150 miles one way to work so if the weather is bad enough he's probably not going to be going to work during the days where the snowstorm is super bad there's really no point we also live super rurally so it's going to take him driving a handful of miles like more than a handful of miles to hit the highway where the roads will actually be plowed anything from our house to the highway is never plowed we are like the last people to get plowed so he probably won't be going to work and if that is the case having some breakfast sausage we can do breakfast sausage and some waffles or um an egg bake or breakfast sandwiches something like that if everyone's gonna be home i'll make a lot nicer of a breakfast a little bit of a spread and that's usually what we do anyways so definitely gonna want that heading into what else is down here i know specifically i really wanted to grab some pork ribs because if everyone is going to be home I would love to make some pork ribs. Here they are. Here are some spare pork ribs. This is a cut of our pork or our pig that we have not gotten to at all. We haven't eaten them once. So I think this would be something really good in the crock pot with maybe some of our sauerkraut, some barbecue sauce, some potatoes, something like that. So I know I want that. So I'm going to pull that out to get into the fridge. The rest of this is all different pork cuts of pork i grabbed everything we wanted from the garage now we're downstairs in the basement you have to mind the echo it's all just one big construction site right now so it's very echoey but here is our second chest freezer in here is mostly things from the garden or our bulk beef so we have some brussels sprouts some cabbage a lot of really big fillets of salmon uh, some chicken thighs, celery from the garden, um, a turkey that I got. I planned on doing this turkey for Christmas. Then we opted not to. We ended up doing a prime rib instead that we had. So I still have this whole turkey in here. I do plan on probably cooking this up during the pantry challenge in my big roaster pan. And then 
we'll do the same thing that we did with our Christmas ham. And that is sectioning it off, pulling it off the bone, putting it in Ziploc bags in like meal sized portions, and then freezing the cooked meat. We do that all the time. That's what we did with our Christmas ham that's actually in the freezer out in the garage. I think we ended up getting four or five gallon bags of different pork options that we had from that ham. What's in here? Um, we do have a thing of birthday cake. This is leftover birthday cake from my husband's birthday. So if the kids are going to be home, what I'll probably do is tomorrow night, I'll probably pull this out of the freezer after the kids go to bed, let it thaw out in the fridge or something. And then the next day for like a really fun snack, the kids can have some birthday cake. This has been in here since June. So we might as well get it out. It's kind of taking up a big amount of space anyways. And the kids will love that a lot, a lot of cabbage. Um, some spinach and then the rest of this is all just ground beef that we have all the way in the bottom here I already have some ground beef pulled out and in my fridge right now I think I have about a pound so I'm not gonna pull out any more ground beef but what I do think I'm going to do I'm I want to do something for chicken tonight I'm just not sure what but I think I'm gonna bring up these chicken thighs Maybe I'll do a pot pie. Don't know, but I'm gonna bring up a bag of chicken thighs. But you can see just how big these slabs of salmon are. They're huge, so I'll probably end up making some salmon patties. Maybe I'll cook up like two of these big fillets at once and make a big batch of salmon patties and then put some of them back in the freezer pre-made and ready to go. We could do that, some peppers, and then you can see the rest of this is all just ground beef. And we have another ham here too. So lots of options. I'm doing this to pull some stuff out, but also just to remind myself of what's in here. This is our third and final freezer. This is mostly our store-bought things. So cheese, some berries, uh, da, 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 da. I kind of want to do a little bit of digging in here. I do have lunch meat upstairs, so I don't need any more lunch meat. What I do think I'm gonna do though, I wanna pull up one of these salsa kit bags that we made over the summer. And I want to thaw these out, put them in my Ninja food processor and just dice them to make some sort of a salsa. Maybe what we'll do tonight is do, maybe what we'll do tonight is like some chicken fajitas. We could possibly do that or maybe some chicken rice bowls so like our tomato pepper onion mixture here some chicken over some rice with like some lettuce and some sour cream and some cheese i think that might be what we do for dinner tonight that sounds pretty good so i'm also going to pull out this kielbasa this will be great for if the kids our home this will be a really easy lunch i can do this kielbasa and some homemade mac and cheese i already have some cheddar upstairs so i don't need to worry about that but that would be a super easy lunch just make some homemade pasta get the uh, kielbasa going and some mac and cheese the kids will love that so we have more and more of those salsa kits in here that's why i want to grab one and use it up because they're taking up a lot of space in here so i want to use one and see how we like it but i think that's all i'm gonna pull out for now and bring upstairs i also wanted to take a quick look at the canning shelf and see if there's anything i wanted to grab me and my son already came down this morning grabbed another jar of pickles so you can see we're already making a huge dent in our pickles here and we're gonna just kind of take a peek i think what i want to do is i think i'm gonna bring up one of these cans of sloppy joe mix i think that would be really good and then I am going to grab a package of that ground beef. So we'll do the chicken taco bowls. We have this for mac and cheese. And then I will pull out the thing for some sloppy joes. I think I'm also going to bring up a can of our coleslaw mix because we're going to be doing fried fish tacos, I think, in the next couple of days. And we want to remember to use this on it. So I'm going to grab this and bring it up right away as well. And then I already have a thing of sauerkraut upstairs, so I don't need to grab one of those. So I think we should be pretty well set. I love having my appliances or things going for me while I'm doing other things. So right as I laid 
Cleo down for her nap. I put my bread in the oven. It's not as risen as I would have liked, but that's okay. That's happened to me a lot recently. I'm not really sure why, but I put the bread in the oven. I ran out chicken scraps and brought the chickens some extra fresh water. They're going through a lot. They do that in the winter time. And then we went ahead and started shopping our freezers and our pantry. So let's talk about some things that we pulled out really quick. Just a little recap. We pulled out some breakfast sausage, pulled out some pork ribs. I'm still trying to find a recipe that I like for these, but we're gonna do that sometime this week, preferably in the crock pot. Pulled out some yogurts for the kids. We also pulled out a bagged salsa kit. Pulled out a kielbasa for a lunch item for everybody. That'll be another thing if everybody is home, a kielbasa and mac and cheese, some broccoli or something, that'll be a great lunch for everybody. A sloppy joe mix and then a coleslaw. I never worry about pulling fish out of the freezer because it thaws so quickly. Especially our fried fish because they're very small fillets typically. So they take almost no time to thaw. I'll pull them out in the morning. They'll be well thawed by dinner time. The other thing I'm gonna to have to learn how to do and I've been watching some videos and trying to find some recipes is making homemade tortillas. That's something I wanna do during pantry challenge and then hopefully I can make them in bulk and not have to purchase them anymore. I can start making my own tortillas. So that's something that we're going to do probably in the next couple of days. So there's that. My shopping portion is done. Then tomorrow to prep for some snow days, I plan on making probably two different types of cookies for the kids to have for snacks. That'll last more than just the snow days, but just so they have some easy snacks, I still have a couple muffins left from the muffin video that we did, so I'll leave that down below for you guys if you wanna check that out. And I will make a ranch Chex Mix for the kids. They love those, some popcorn, some pretzels, some oyster crackers. We still have hard boiled eggs and lots of fresh fruit and we just made some popsicles and um, some sorbet and that's in the freezer for the kids for when they want it. So we still have lots of options, but I just wanted to do a little bit of a really quick freezer shop for the next couple of days, pull my meat out, let it thaw, and that makes it so much easier when it comes time to cook meals or quick meals on the fly because I have things out and ready to go. So I'm not gonna pull out anything else because I don't have a lot of extra room in my fridge right now and I can only thaw as much as I can at a time. So probably like tomorrow once the kielbasa is gone or the chicken is gone, I'll pull out some ground beef, put that in the fridge and just kind of keep rotating it. So I always have like one cut of each type of meat in the fridge thawing at all times. That way we can just kind of keep on this steady rotation. So that's my plan. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below how you guys are doing on Pantry Challenge. I have so many new people following and saying that you guys are doing the same challenge. Love that. Let me know how it's going. What kind of meals are you discovering? I love to know all of that stuff. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to hang out with me. I really mean that time is the most valuable thing and it is honestly really humbling to think that over 3,000 of you have taken the time to subscribe, to be here, to watch my videos. It is amazing. Thank you guys so much for doing all of those things. I'm honored to have you guys kind of like in my kitchen, in my home during pantry challenge. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to hang out with me and I will see you guys in another video. Bye.